The Energy Department is looking at all possible angles as it orders a probe into what caused Wednesday's massive power outage in Luzon. Isang planta, kalakato, yung unang nag-trip na planta, saka sumun, nagsunod-sunod na yung mga planta. Okay, mm -hmm. nag-cascade ito lahat. Okay, ang iniimbestigahan natin ngayon, bakit hindi nag-auto shut off? Hindi nyo siguro napapansin. Every now and then, merong plantang bumabagsak dito sa buong Pilipinas. Apa. Pero hindi natin napapansin, hindi natin napapansin kasi nag-auto shut down yan. Pagkatapos, mm -hmm. meron tayong pinapatakbo ng mga backup na mga planta. Parang okay. backup generator. Pero kahapon, uh, anim ang sunod-sunod dahil merong isang planta na for some reason, yung auto shut off niya, uh, hindi, uh, hindi kumana yung auto protection niya. Yan ang, ang, uh, yan ang iniimbestigahan natin ngayon. Energy Secretary Jericho Petilia says they will check the condition of the circuit around the Calaca power plant including the Calaca Binyan line in Santa Rosa to determine why transmission lines tripped and why the auto protection system failed. They are also looking at the possibility that over-preparation ahead of Monday's polls could be the culprit. During the maintenance, okay, they may have over-prepared and uh, I don't know, um, we're still trying to find out because they were actually doing some, some checks on their plans. While the National Grid Corporation with Philippines and the Transmission Commission have expressed confidence they are ready to supply power to Luzon, Petilia says he has asked for a final check just to be sure. I'd like to assure the public that uh, NGCP and the Kalaka Power Plant, they're actually eager to get back online. They're ready to go back. Yeah. They've checked. Nothing will happen. But, okay, I just need an explanation at this point. While the actual cause is still sketchy, Petilia rules out fears the outage was caused by a sabotage. Hindi pa rin indication to na may nagsasabotahe dito. This is more of a technical problem. At mariresolve natin ito, malalaman natin kasi masyadong technical ito. Malalaman lang natin ito kapag na-analyze na ng NGCP, uh, which is ito ang ginagawa nila ngayon. Pinasubmit natin lahat ng mga planta. Hindi lang yung plantang nag, nag uh, brown out, kundi pati yung plantang tumatakbo kagabi. In the surrounding area, pinasubmit natin ang mga lag. Itong lag na to, malalaman natin yung sequence down to the nanoseconds. Kung sino ang unang bumagsak, anong nangyari within the plant, outside of the plant, and within the grid. Caroline Howard, ABS-CBN News.